वेलकम बैक डियर चिल्ड्रन दिस इज मनाली आईलानी फ्रॉम एल एच एस ग्वालियर बैक विथ योर ज्योग्राफी क्लास फ्रॉम द टॉपिक रिसोर्सेस होप एवरी वन इज सेफ एंड हेल्थी बिफोर मूविंग अहेड विथ पार्ट टू ऑफ द चैप्टर रिसोर्सेस लेट्स क्विकली रिकॉर्ड वॉट वी स्टडीड इन पार्ट वन इन पार्ट वन वी अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ रिसोर्सेस रिसोर्स कंजर्वेशन एंड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट Part two is focused on the different types of resources. Let's understand these with the help of this flowchart. Resources are of three types: natural resources, the resources that are drawn from nature and used in their original form without any modification or change, are called natural resources. Number two, human-made resources, the resources. which are either created by humans or modified from their original form according to human needs are called human made resources number 3 is human resources we the humans are the biggest resource of all it is human beings who can turn anything into a useful resource using their knowledge skill and technology Natural resources can be further classified on four different bases. Let's discuss these. First, on the basis of level of development and use, natural resources are actual and potential resources. Actual resources are those which are being used in present and whose quantity is known. For example, petroleum in West Asia. potential resources are those which might not be a resource in present but can become a resource in future for example uranium in ladakh is potentially a resource number 2 on the basis of their origin resources are biotic and abiotic biotic resources are living resources like plants and animals Abiotic resources are non-living resources like land, water, air. On the basis of stock, resources are renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources are those which have unlimited stock. Their quantity can be easily renewed or replenished. For example, wind energy and solar energy non renewable resources are those which have limited stock once the stock is exhausted it might take thousands of years to the quantity to get replenished or renewed for example fossil fuels like coal and petroleum are non renewable on the basis of distribution resources are ubiquitous and localized the resources which are found everywhere are ubiquitous resources like the air we breathe is ubiquitous localized resources are those which are not found everywhere but only in some particular regions like minerals coal iron ore these are some minerals which are not found everywhere but in particular localities that is why they are localized that's it from chapter 1 we will be uploading the notes of the chapter soon so that you can learn it as well in the meantime stay safe stay healthy bye bye